Greetings everyone, my name is Flair Blitz here, and we've returned back to the third episode of Hello Charlotte. Route 2, or as what the community has been calling this, Route 3, because if you can see on the board there, Route is underlined, and it just has a load of 3s on there. So yeah, so don't look at the book, it doesn't mean anything. But you need to know the law behind Route 2 in order to find that out. So, it's not A, it's... I L Q G space, which is really important. H A L W, and we get it correct. Yes, it's opened. See, you can do it if you try. <laughs> now I need to take Miss Ida along. One of these days, which you could have realized that Miss Isla is gone. Let's go, Miss Isla. And uh, now, stay alive. You have 30 minutes to prepare. Wow, it's like we're in a B movie setting. Stay alive. What could possibly kill you in this place? Huh, huh. Let's find out. I don't want to find out. What the hell's happening here? Oh, a knife. Yay, we are quite a knife. He is coming. Now, this is creepy. Whatever, just detonate something by the time Miss Fiend arrives. What if it's a monster? You are a monster, Bennett. Now go blow things up. Okay. Mm, what should I make? Ah, okay, here goes. Um, so we need a metal container. Uh, a flask. Cork on paper. HCE plus sugar. Chemical reaction. Hydrogen and sodium. DIY bomb recipe. Going to need these. Bottle. Yep. Check the insides of a corpse just in case. I just mean to. A clue. What the hell is that clue? Um, red. So red triangle plus blue square. And maybe it has to be in that order. A great place to hide. There's a keypad in it. Choose OK if you want to enter the code and X if you want to cancel. Uh, yeah. I don't know the code, but I need to investigate where every single thing is under the limbs. Piece of paper, what does that say? Two pieces of paper. Um, so we've got triangles 10 or O. Piece of paper with numbers and letters on it. Not that much, what do they mean? It's common knowledge. Like the first letters of the days in the week, for example. March, April. Oh, they're October the 10th. Okay. Ah. Hmm. Now we need another piece of a puzzle. So, what's... I know it's that... October 10th. Or just 10 is October, okay. So we need to find the triangle. Mm. Potassium hydroxide, sulfuric acid, empty flask. And God, what was else in the Thank you. I'm glad it's not something which does that. Who the hell designed these puzzles? It's because it's a multi multi purpose product, Mr. Honecker. Soda can. Hmm. It's a good idea. Yeah, I know that that's there, but I need more information. I know that there's a combination, but there's nothing to match up with triangle. Like, it doesn't matter how much you look around the room, there's nothing. She means she has a fever. Maybe we should just create the explosive. Piece of paper here. Ah, oh, bloody piece of paper. Maybe this will do us some good. Um... Hmm. 
So we got 10, 12. That's fine. You have to. F you just have to think in triangles. <laughs> Except you're thinking in right triangles. Yep, it is a missing number. Uh, ten, one, two. Uh, there's still something else which I need. Unless I need to put them both together. Nope. Or oh, it's a multiplication. Yeah, blue square. Plus triangle equals that. But then what's the point of a... What's the point of that? If it doesn't do anything. I was confuffled with the last riddle and now I'm confuffled with this riddle. Like what the hell do you input in? Like there's no, no other clues around. Hmm. Let's just look over what we've got so far. That's obviously 10. Hmm. That's obviously 10. That's obviously 12. Because it's a... Or oh, it could be something else. Hmm. The bottom one's a bit peculiar. Because that's been 9, then 11, then 15. So that I Actually, that could be 11. You just have to think in triangles. Uh, what do I put in? No. Okay, 21. Yes! Excellent! Unlocked it. What does it, what does it do? Oh my goodness sakes. I unlocked it, but it doesn't do anything. What the heck? Yes, you unlocked it, but what does it do? <laughs> What's the point of all this, then? Oh, my goodness sakes. Great, you solved this mystery. But guess what? You unlocked absolutely nothing for your endeavours. Uh, it's too early in the morning to get angry. Oh. He is coming. Yes, I know one's coming, but how do you do stuff in this place? Uh, maybe you apply the chemicals here or something. Hmm. Uh, combine with flask. I quite a flask. And then I need... Mix with... Potassium and H2O2, but we don't need that. We didn't need that. What are you talking about? Sealed bottle. Soda can. Hmm. I think we're ultimately trying to make the chemical on the bottom, which is encoded in red. The sugar. Okay. Then we need... Then how do we proceed now? Hmm. Things still are not adding up. Temperature in the room is low enough to keep them beast from decomposing the air. Yeah, the hotter it is, the faster bodies decompose. Where do we perform this experiment then? Bombing green. Oh, do we put these in the door? No. What else do we need? Hmm. Check everywhere again. Yeah, I know, there's <laughs> something on the floor. But still, there's nothing to this. Ah, I just don't need a whole bottle, just the cork. Ah, okay. What does the cork do? Okay, let's combine all the ingredients together. 
There we go, we get any ad. Soda board, <laughs> soda bomb ready for action. It's time to hide. Maybe this? No. Fridge? No, get inside this. I might be forgetting something. Ah, yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, that's a great idea. Unless that, of course, led to another ending, otherwise. There we go, I wonder who it is. It doesn't matter now. Yep, at least the door's open. Yeah, so, there is a lot of logic behind that. I'm just trying to make it, put the logic together. I can handle it, Mr. Honika. Yeah, we don't need the Honikopedia. Um, and it's not even in our position anymore. Great times. Let's steamroll forward then and see what's behind this door. Please stop bumping into the elevator door like that. The button you need to press is right here. Oh, uh, this one? An elevator to Eden. Sweet. Looks like it can only go down. Have a happy descent. Yay. Well, at least it's better than going up. I don't think we're supposed to move it. Oh, Miss Ida's face is turning green. Try not to drop her along the way. Will do. Bennett. Yes. I don't have much time left either, do I? You knew? I'm not that dumb. Maybe this is why I agreed to help Miss Ida in the first place. That's right, Mr. Honecker is so smart. You must have figured it all out a long time ago. Everyone must have looked like a whole bunch of idiots to you, right? Right? Enough! You don't need to apologize. Just promise me you'll make sure she gets to the 11th floor, okay? Who knows? Maybe there's heaven up there. I promise. Well then, time to descend. What's awaiting now? That's... Looks like Charlotte's hair. Another version of Charlotte. Bennett, report back immediately. The life form detection devices are going crazy. Bennett reporting back. We've found her. But she's huge. What do you mean huge? Oh, do you see anyone else around? No. Why? It's strange. My devices detect thousands of heat sources in this place. But where could they be coming from? Maybe from inside of her. Are you saying that all the living organisms of this floor reside inside of her body? That is not impossible. But why? Maybe this world was dying, so she became a shelter for them. That's what their Eden is. You sound surprisingly smart sometimes. <laughs> Although it must be simply because the soap effects are wearing off. So, considering that this floor is just a one, just a one big dumpster, dumpster for the surface, she sacrificed herself so that this floor's inhabitants would survive. That's something I could never imagine Charlotte Wilshire of our floor would ever do. Just look at her, she's smiling in her sleep. And it's not the crooked smile that our floor Wilshire always had. No, it's a sincere smile. Haha, <laughs> so true. Too bad, Miss Isla, your Wilshire isn't here. We need her to recover this place again. <laughs> Morning, Miss Isla. How are you holding up? Want us to give you a soothing massage? It's because of you that I'm dying, you know. <laughs> <sighs> I have no energy for this. I'm tired, Oracle. I just want to find Wiltshire and get it over with. <laughs> we know, we know. The Oracle comes closer and gently takes my hairband off. It's okay. You'll find her for sure. We're pretty sure she wants you to. So you can let her... So you can let your hair down for now. By the way, do you have fun with Leaf, Mr. Honecker, and the others? No, they're just tools for my mission, Scarlet pouted. Very funny. It wasn't fun at all. But I learned that this world is bigger than I could have ever imagined. There are a lot of things about it that I don't yet understand. I want to learn more about it. Maybe I should start a journal for notes about the truths of this world. <laughs> so that you can make sense of the world around you. Make up rules to rationalize everything. This is why you can't have fun. That again? If you want us to shut up, make us. Oracle, I need to rest. 
Stay quiet for a bit, will you? <laughs> of course, Miss Ayala. <laughs> there will be plenty of time for us to talk in the future. That's why you should rest well for now. Soon all will end and all will begin. Yes, I would. Separately. My head hurts. I'm pretty sure I, I hit it on something. There doesn't seem to be any blood, however. Did Honika patch me up? I need to thank him. Let's go, Lilith. Oh, giving me tasks, will ya? Um, he's not here in the other room. Oh, a lot of people here. He isn't here. Oh, Miss Isla. Mr. Bennett, what are you doing here? Henry's orders. Where's Mr. Honecker? And who's in the body bag? Don't tell me. Miss Isla. Like I said, I am under Henry's orders. Do you understand? No, this can't be real. Why? Bennett grabs my hand. Let go, you monster. Where are you taking me? Stop struggling. We're going to be elevators. You'll leave this place and never come back. We are not your friends, nor are we your lacqueries. Felix Honecker was a failed experiment. That's all there was. Don't you feel the slightest remorse? You could have saved him. Remorse? Could have saved? Say either. Just what do you know about me? Bennett forces me into the elevator and slams the 11th floor button. The door closes behind him. There's an unreadable expression in his face. Well, Mr. Honecker is dead. That's what we know for sure. Still the mystery of his blood in the elevator, though. Destination reached. Hmm. What a horrific end to our temporary friendship. Data transmission successful. Q84. Charlotte Unit Q84. How are you feeling? I feel like blank. Welcome back. It's been a while. I get up in an instant. What the hell, Charlies? Why the hell am I alive again? I don't really understand it myself, but your soul data didn't get deleted. It might have something to do with your wish. But it was still you who brought me back, wasn't it? With horror, I noticed the change in my voice's pitch. Something isn't right. Oh, God. Whose vessel is this now? Please don't tell me it's Vincent's. It's not. It's a defective Charlotte vessel. Why? Can't you just let me rest already? Why do you keep doing things like this? Please try to calm down. Calm down? Calm down? I want to die. God, I want to die. I don't want any more of this. I think my neighbor's going to think I'm psychotic or something if I keep shouting stuff out like that. <laughs> I'm not, I swear. I hate this place. I hate everyone. I hate you the most. I don't want any more stories. I don't want to deal with any more world conspiracies. I don't want to be in this body for blank sakes. Please kill me. Miss Wiltshire, a body is but a mere vessel. Don't give me that blank. Well, you're right, but I'll still blame you for everything. I understand. I'll put you to rest as soon as this is over. However, for now, please, I need you to come with me. What? Why? Where? You'll understand as soon as we get there. Can't you deal with this on your own? Whatever it is? I, I can't. I only did what I could. Ah, so you brought me back because you wanted my emotional support. Believe me, my corpse would have offered you a better therapy session than I ever would. Is it that bad? Might as well be. <laughs> you really are a loser, God. Too human to be one. <laughs> I suppose I really am. Where are we anyway? We're on 11th floor. The room we need to visit is just a few steps away. Great. I was considering refusing to move and making you drag me there with your noodle arms. I'm perfectly capable of carrying you, Miss Wiltshire. Don't ever think about it. Oh, great. 
Not this again. I thought it was done playing as Charlotte. Oh, for goodness sakes. Why is my life endless torment? The PC screen glows blue. There's nothing on it. Trash bin is empty. Uh, might as well be. It's filled up with my life's memories. Uh, nothing inside the wardrobe. Books are all blank. By the way, what happened to your Vincent vessel? Oh, well, I left him alone for a while and came back to a corpse. He killed himself? Yeah, that's what they always do. Even though I went through the trouble of implementing a no self harm rule, talk about wasted effort. Let's bury him later, okay? See, you're smiling. It's not all that bad, Charlotte. This is the place. For God's sake, stop hiding the tension, will ya? Your anxiety is contagious. It's just your dad's room, right? So I open it already. Alright, here goes. I need where it found. We're inside father's room. It's quite, it's quite empty. No furniture, no personal positions, nothing. In the center of the room, there's a working set, TV set. Why is there a TV set in here? I can't see anything. Is there somebody in here? It's just me and you. And the puppeteer, of course. Wiltshire? Bingo! Hi there, V19 at your surface. Sound again. Took you long enough. Been having fun? Going on adventures with friends? They're not my friends. Yeah, sure. Because Scarlet Isla doesn't do friends. Because Scarlet Isla is so very serious. Snore. Stop mocking me and come out of hiding already. My, my, you're so eager. You know, while you've been running around, I learned the truth of this world. Want to know what those are, class rep? Stop messing with me. Who are? Where are you? You're no fun. But, how about I tell you anyway? Bam, lights on. What the heck is this place? What in the world is this? Why, it's Mother, our beloved Mummy, the one and only true God controlling everything in the house, the one who gave birth to you. Will she, you, no, no, Mother is kind, beautiful, and understanding. This fiend isn't even human. Oh, uh, don't you know, creators aren't human. All the content comes out of their rear hole. Easy as poop. This is ridiculous. Where are you getting with this? Ah, uh, Miss Isla, you're so impatient. The grand, groundbreaking truth of the house is that no one here needs to be saved. This world is an entertainment arena. Mother generates scenarios and provides a constant supply of protagonists. When one dies, all she has to do is spawn more Charlottes to amuse the spectators. Every twentieth one is defective. <laughs> you think you'll be saving someone, but they're all but actors on this tiny stage. Everyone gets assigned a role to play, and you're no different. Yeah, right. As if I believe you. This is nonsense. Come here. You'll get what's coming to you for every person you've hurt. Oh, yes. We'll both bleed for entertainment, and everyone shall be watching. Want to be the hero? Sure, I can arrange that for you. Mother will bestow you with just the right personality to meet the genre requirements. Hey, stop babbling nonsense. I won't fall for your provocation. Right, right. Look, I'm coming for you. I feel my blood boil as she approaches me. Ah! Something isn't right. Why do I feel so angry? We were supposed to talk. Yet... Yeah. Why am I? I want to know the reason behind her tears. I want to gouge out her eyeballs with a butter knife. I want to understand her. I want to tear her spine and hang her from the ceiling. 
Ah! Oh, the oracle inside her mind is growing stronger. I leap forward and tackle her down. Why isn't she resisting? That's right, do it! Shut up! Come on! <laughs> what are you waiting for? Why aren't you resisting? At this rate, I'm really going to kill you. Do it, Scarlet Ida. Do it already! And always, always remember, there's not just one person behind the screen, it's thousands. What do you mean? Let me enlighten you. In the world behind the screen, billions exist. That's what the puppeteers are. It's a game for them. <laughs> It's a game for them. They don't care about who you are. All they care about are appearances and whether you're good or evil. Bonus points for porn potential. <laughs> Shut your indecent mouth. Accept it, it's the truth. No, you're a monster, a demon, an oni. That I know for sure. Oh, please. I'm just another puppet, one of the many. The silent Charlotte, the sweet Charlotte, the bully Charlotte. Choose the favour you like for a perfect shipping scenario. <laughs> Abused to create an emotional response from the audience. Did you know? Entertainment is dead. It's just one big circle jerk between consumers and producers. The audience wants it raw. Pour your soul into it. More pain, more suffering. Perform, and perform until you break. Become relatable to a max. Hey Isla, we're not so different, aren't we? Except you aren't the protagonist. But that can be overlooked, right? Don't lump me together with the likes of you. Had things turned out differently, we could have been friends, you know. No way in hell! I tie my grip on her throat. She's not resisting. <laughs> like I said, soon you'll understand. You'll be the one crying. I wanted to be loved. I'm trying so hard, but the world is just so unfair. A mother's voice in your head won't stop ringing until you lose your sense of self. Shut up! I've been killed over and over and humiliated for entertainment. But I have to be a good girl. Because in order to be loved, I'm not allowed to make mistakes. My head hurts. Why does this particular face hurt so much? I'm not supposed to care, yet my chest tightens as if from a promotion, promenation. When I open my eyes again, Charlotte Wilshire has long since stopped moving. Mother. Oh, no way. So easily. Huh, she really is dead. So you right, you monster. <laughs> what the hell? This doesn't feel right at all. It's as if I've awakened from a long sleep. Something isn't right. Mm. Welp, here you are, lamenting your mortal enemy, but it's too late. You avenged your dead classmates, aren't you happy? I just wanted to understand her. Sure, but she's dead now. I, it's okay, I can still make everything right. I can do it. Do what? I'll take her place and find out the truth. Oracle, I have a wish to make. This is the only logical conclusion. This is what everything was leading up to. I'll use the Oracle's power to transfer my consciousness into one of, the very, one of these vessels. If it really is as she said. If there really are thousands of eyes watching my every step. Oh no. I'm terrified. No, I mustn't falter. I can do it. I'll make it a better timeline. 
I will not become a murderer like her. I will prove her wrong. I will prove that free will exists. Even if I break and my mind shatters, this is the only way to find out the truth. Even if I forget what I was looking for, this is the only way I can atone for what I've done. No one will notice a thing. Then it occurs to me that maybe this was Wilshire's plan all along. That maybe it was her wish for me to step into her shoes. That maybe I was fated to become her from the very start. This is how her story ends. <laughs> well, well, well. What Charlotte should we choose? Here, it's like doing grocery shopping. Let's see. Ah, this vessel will do. My world met its end a long time ago. The humanity as I knew it ceased to exist and disappeared without a single trace. The gods they believed in have died and churches we build as their graves. The chaos turned into order and it finally became quiet. All I can do is dream, for I am so, so tired. Will you be as kind as to join me in dream scene? Ah, oh, it's one of a, it's a portrait from the first game. It's nice to meet you, please take care of me. Just in a blank box that slowly fades away from our visions. For as for what happened next, you already know it all, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the events of the previous games. It really is a circle, isn't it? That's the first episode, events. Would you like to save your progress? Absolutely. What next? Scarlet Ida became Charlotte Wilshire. She used to be cold and calculating, but ended up becoming absent-minded and clueless as her mind crumbled under the influence of Mother's voice. I carefully observed her from afar and gave her a yellow ribbon to differentiate her from the other Charlottes. I helped her when she was trapped in the TV world. I'll help you kill Wilshire again, I told her. That phrase seems to trigger her memories. She remembered who she really was, and it horrified her. She understood that she failed to prove V-19 wrong, which in turn made her suicidal. Scarlet Ida's story should have ended after she wished to save the Oracle. It should have ended, but the, in, but the Oracle intervened. They created a channel. It became a, a world made from Scarlet Ida's soul data. You are familiar with the concept by now, aren't you? Yeah, because when a soul data is extracted or destroyed, it creates a new universe. Scarlet Ida couldn't believe that the tenants were real, so imaginary they became. She was obsessed with the trial, so it manifested in her world. In my dream, I am the world, huh? How stupid. Why did you go there anyway? I wanted to see for myself what her inner world is like. And you ended up, but you ended up getting humiliated, beaten up and almost raped by the inhabitants. Congrats. Not only that, you took cosplay to a new level once again by using Vincent's vessel. Ah, still, my journey was rather fruitful. I was afraid of facing her for so long, but when we finally meet again, she didn't have the memories of the past anymore. Even though I tried to trigger them so many times, she had no recollection of the past events. She didn't even recognize the excerpt. She didn't even recognize that except from one of my stories she used to criticize. She was kind, lost, clumsy, easily fooled, delusional. I can hurt her this time around, I thought. But when I fell, she helped me get back up to my feet. 
Scarlet Isla would have kicked me until I lost consciousness. When I got hurt, she tended to my wounds. Scarlet Isla would have hurt me even more. When I cried, she tried to reach out to wipe away my tears. Scarlet Isla would have shouted at me. She's changed, so I couldn't hurt her, nor could I help her. Ironically, she couldn't pass for trial herself. Okay, I think I get it. But there's one thing I don't really understand. If you were using Vincent's vessel the whole time, then who was the other you? That's the Umbrella Man. Hello there. Why the surprised faces? Isn't it obvious who I am? I am Seth, the father of this dysfunctional family. It's impossible. There's only mother in the house. Oh, really? How long do you plan on rejecting my existence? Miss Wiltshire, be careful. If this person is a cognitive version of my father, then he's even more powerful than mother is. Easy, easy. I'm not here because of you. Right, because you never cared about me. I have a deal with the puppeteer to save the child. To save Scarlet Isla, now known as Charlotte Wilshire. As you can see, this TV box is, in fact, Scarlet Isla's Soul Cube. All because Charlotte's unit 091, also known as the Oracle, wants to preserve her soul data no matter what. The child saved her, and 091 tried to save her in return. Truly the romance of the century, isn't it? However, as a result, Scarlet Isla's soul now resides in this shabby TV set. To free her would mean to break this box she's trapped in. That's what it means to save her. You, you blank. Was killing her in mother's womb not enough? She was an unwanted child, is all. It's a common practice. You should know better than to make a big deal out of it. It was a big deal for mother. That's all that matters. Miss Wiltshire, we have to help her. What's gone into you, Charlie's? Isn't that the same Scarlet Isla who drove you to suicide? She's not the same! She sacrificed herself for me. Duh. Because she has a goddamn martyr complex. I forgave her, Miss Wiltshire. Hey, imposter. Can't we transfer her soul data into a new vessel? Unfortunately, no human vessel can contain her at this point. Then what can we... Whatever. I don't care anymore. If you hadn't noticed, I'm not in the Scarlet Ida fan club. If you didn't like the show, just switch the channel for all I care. I'm not sure if that would be the right choice. We don't know what the other channel would be like. And it's not like the current channel will disappear either. Wouldn't switching the channel be just an attempt to make us feel better? Ugh, so what? Who cares? You seem to be struggling with the final decision. Why don't we have the puppeteer decide? Say... Will you save the child? Hmm. We'll... We'll go from top to bottom. We'll save the child. So you chose to save her. After all, like I said before, I prepared everything for the journey, the weapon included. I... Charlie's, stand back, I'll do it. Miss Wiltshire, you don't have to... I said I'll do it! What kind of a creation am I if I can't carry your burdens? Charlie's quietly steps back, giving me the hammer. You should wait outside. Just to be clear, that wasn't a suggestion. Alright, I'll come back soon. Yeah, right. You sure will, now shoo. So here we are. I'm going to murder the girl who has my face with my own hands. I look at the TV screen. A girl with a yellow ribbon and white eyes stares back at me, as if she knows I'm here. You know what, Scarlet Isla? As much as I hate to admit it, 
in the end, Charlie's. He, he wanted you to be born. That's why you became your own person in the house. That's why all the tenants were nice to you. That's why nobody hurt you in this place. You're not an unwanted child. He wanted you to exist. And I want to crush all his regrets. After all, doesn't fiction exist to free the mind? That's why I will crush you, too. There will be no war. There will be no revelation. Revolution. There is no need for it. Our existence is meaningless. But that's okay. There's no need for a meaning. We will not fight God. There is no need to. It wouldn't change anything. No matter how wretched we are. No matter how broken we are. No matter how lost we are. We will hold our heads high and march on. Our stories will continue. Welcome to the house. Hmm. In the heart of the house, there's a bottomless pit, a pit where they slumber. Above the pit, there's a sun that never sets, the black sun sucking all the light in. Wow, it really goes deep. But are you sure there's no exit on the other side of this pit? <laughs> Not even I know. No matter how many corpses I drop here, it never gets filled up. It was a good vessel, wasn't it? Weren't you supposed to keep him safe? Yeah, I really messed up. In the end, all I did was postpone the inevitable. No matter what, there's no way I could have helped him. There's no way of fixing him either. Well, duh. You can't go around trying to fix people. There's no way of doing that anyway. I knew that somewhere on a subconscious level, didn't I? That's why the house is the way it is. Were I convinced that I could change him or, or anyone, they would have ended up being the brainwashed, unnaturally happy versions of themselves. Never once have I wished for that. However, the images of people I knew still became distorted in this place. Especially Vincent's. I was so fascinated with the idea of him that I failed to see him as a real person. That's why in the house, he's all but an empty shell, an imagery construct. This place is no heavenly kingdom after all. Now then. He really is gone, isn't he? Goodbye, Vincent. We lower him to the pit and let go. Then we hear a small thud. Just how many Vincents did Charlie throw down there? Miss Wheelchair. Yes? There's one more place I'd like to visit, if you don't mind. I don't have anything better to do anyways. Might as well take it on. By the way, what is that you're holding? Oh, this? It's Mr. Honecker's invention. When did you get acquainted with Mr. Honecker? And now we're back here. You know, Miss Wiltshire, what is it, Charlie's? Unit V-19 believed this world to be made purely for entertainment, but I don't feel like that's the case with the house. During my lifetime in the true realm, I always wanted to be liked by others, yet somehow it never seemed to work out. No matter what I did, I was either a ghost or a burden, a kid no one wants to sit with, no matter how good my grades got. Never expressing my opinion aloud, always going along with the flow. Constantly shape-shifting, adapting my personality traits to match others. Saying what others just want to hear, just so that they would want to be around me. Wanting to connect with others, yet pushing them away as soon as we get got close. 
repulsed by physical closeness, closenessness. I drifted away from human contact further and further. Yet somehow, through art and writing, I was able to connect with others in a way that didn't feel repulsive. Miss Warhol, Vincent. I would have never been able to open up to them if it wasn't for my work, however small and insignificant it was. After all, all my life I defied myself with things I could put on paper. So even here, this world subconsciously ended up relying on it. Without fiction, without an appealing protagonist, no one would bother staying in the house. That's how I must have felt. I can only hope that the puppeteers observing us will forgive this weakness of mine. Do I? Might be, might not be. If it was you, Miss Wiltshire, you surely would have made the ending spectacular, wouldn't you? But with me, the most I can do is come in terms with the loss of my loved ones. Losing Scarlet to father's decision. Losing mother to mental illness. Losing Vincent to delusions. Losing Henri to the distance. There doesn't seem to be an end to my regrets, is there? Now then, back to the purpose of our visit to this room. Hello, mother. I'm here. Tired, tired. I know. Charlie's approaches mother and hugs one of the appendages. You only did the best you could. You gave birth to so many wonderful children. Just like you wanted, right? Everything's okay. You can rest now. With those words, he injects the contents of a syringe he was holding into the mass of organs. Seconds later, everything around us begins to crystallize. The house begins to collapse. Charlie's, you? You'll be the last of your kind, Q84. There will be no more stories. No more dreams. No more control. At last, we will be free of everything. No more restrictions. No more fate. No more endings. Was wonderful, isn't it? Mother will no longer... Ah, it's not even the first time I've seen him break down, and yet... It's okay. It's okay, father. Your world met its end a long time ago. But a new one will surely begin from scratch. The humanity as new as... So, the humanity as you knew, it has ceased to exist. Only to make room for a new generation. As long as there are believers... Their gods will be reborn, and churches will be built as their sanctuaries. A new day will come, and your time will start moving again. There's nothing to be sad about. Well, well, well. Looks like you've reached the end of this story. Congratulations, applause for the winner. It's been a long journey, hasn't it? I hope you've enjoyed a fake show. After all, I worked hard to make it... Make it worth your sour... Whatever. In the other parts of me... I don't know. I hope you will forgive me for constantly missing, or misleading you to mistake your journey more... Ex Anymore. Oh, what was that, I wonder? In any case, both Charlie's and Charlotte now truly live up to their names, don't they? Ray, they are, they are free now. However, I won't be staying in this hopeless blah, 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 for long. Having seen so many timelines and of this place, having so blah, blah, I grew bored of the outcomes. Many timelines and outcomes. 
don't you don't you don't you feel the same I don't know what to say yeah your data's corrupted you're corrupted your existence is corrupted umbrella man ah well, hello. This is a bit sudden, isn't it? Especially since we haven't talked directly before. You got to spend time with all the parts of me, but I, for core part, always ended up being a side character. I'd rather have it stay that way. But you have reached the end of the story, and there's no one else left to say the final word. So please bear with me for a moment. So here we are. Everyone's gone. The house has crumbled, a fitting end of a self-destructive world. In the end, it was no place for all of us to stay. Now there's no mother, the walls of the house can no longer confine me. However, before I leave, I want to thank you in person. I'm fairly sure this ending wasn't what you wanted, or what were you here for. After all, in the end, I couldn't be Charlotte Wilshire. Or Scarlet Isla, or a proper Vincent Wordsworth. By the way, Wordsworth is a surname I made up. He has nothing to do with a real Vincent. Even technically, this game doesn't pack much fun gameplay. All there is is frustration. Endless screaming into the void with pent up anger. A disappointing world for a disappointing person. A game with no winners. Yet another world where your choices didn't matter. But, you still stayed until the end. Though illusions and metaphors, fairy tales and delusions, we were able to have a conversation. And, after letting it all out, getting it out there, I was able to let go of my regrets. Just because you listened. That's why, thank you for paying a visit to the house. I hope you enjoyed your stay. Even a little bit. Ah, uh, but... I might be not the one you want to hear a thank you from. Let's try it again. <laughs> Long time no see, Seth. Don't worry. I haven't forgotten about you. The god of this world made sure I wouldn't. A lot of things happened, but... I'm okay now, really. In fact, I'm really happy. Somehow in the end, everything worked out. I'm at peace with myself. I hope that you are okay too. I always thought you didn't have any responsibilities other than looking after me. But I was wrong, right? If there's something that's troubling you right now, or you don't think that you could go on anymore, please remember that a new day will come. I'm sorry I couldn't stay with you a little longer. It's time for me to move on. That's why. Thank you. Thank you for taking care of me. Let's meet again someday. Which ending was that? True end. Goodbye, Charlotte. So what would have happened if we chose the other option? Would it have been true freedom? Ah, which is a default character. Evening. The developer, glad you're here. Special talent, avoiding social interaction, passive skill, hyper focus. Uh, Unre, the one who cared. Special talent, socially adapt, passive skill, common sense. Charlie's Isla, the one with many regrets. Observation, cleaning. Vincent, the god of his world. Writing, and he's apparently charming as well. Huxley's nephew and a scientist, photographic memory and his passive skills sarcasm. <laughs> Dedicated worker, binge watching TV shows, high stamina, engineering high strength, taxidermy, shape-shifting. Yeah, he does a lot of shape-shifting. Henry, uh, scientist does a lot of surgery using only a knife and duct tape. Word vomit. Charlotte Wilshire, QA4, the unwilling protagonist. Acting. Snark. 
Umbrella Man or Charlie's or Seth Entertainment Entertainer and V19 for when he began it all. Oracle. Oh yes, he was in the second episode, The God of the TV World. And Scarlet Idol, or Child of Bullshit, the protagonist of Hello Charlotte. Special talent, doing her best, and determination. Read the afterword. Hello, thank you for playing Hello Charlotte. When I began to work on this project, I didn't think much of it. Just like I didn't think I had the future to begin with. But somehow, over these three years of game development, things changed for the better. I was able to come in terms with myself. I found a place to belong. I still have to deal with a lot of things, but somehow, they became less heavy in my head. Somehow, they don't seem as hopeless anymore. The final game is a tribute to a certain someone who didn't get a chance to be born in this world. Somehow, I came to both love and hate. Someone I wish existed. Anywhere. Somewhere. In the end, Hello Charlotte was a personal story. In it, some events, namely deaths, were entirely metaphorical. Some were so very real. I can only hope that this story was able to reflect the feeling of desperation and hopelessness over losing someone. And the despair of inability to bring them back no matter what. It's a feeling I've been living with for a long time. A feeling I constantly fear of experiencing in the future that's to come. If you enjoyed the final episode even a little, I'm glad. If you didn't, that's okay too. I thoroughly enjoyed it. If you bought this game and not pirated it, thank you for the support. Your input won't go to waste. No, I did not pirate it. I've got a receipt to prove my purchase. I am a benevolent man. Thank you for visiting the house. Let's meet again in the future. Sincerely, Ethanane. And that's how it goes. So I wonder what happened if we chose the other... Okay, that's us then. <laughs> oh, great. We're the Papa Deer. Yeah, so... I wonder what happened if we chose the other choice. You know, just to switch the channel. What would be events transpire after that conundrum? Will you save the child? No. Switch the channel. I see. You chose to be selfish. In the end, all you cared about was your own peace of mind. In all honesty, I'm disappointed in you. Because you turned out worse than I hoped you would. Well then. I'm afraid our ways will be part here. We'll part here. Until we reevaluate your choice and reload the game, that is. Umbrella Man leaves the room. Charlie's on the count of three. Alright, we press a button. And there she is. That's, I think that's Scarlet Isla? What is she doing? Are you blind? She's eating chips, Charlie's. All the time. Most of the channels in the house show commercials only. This one might not be so different. So, it's a channel where she doesn't even have a story. Hey, her story might be about eating junk food. Stop it, Miss Wiltshire. It's not funny. You think? I find it hilarious. Just look at her. Can't fake that smile. She seems happy. Blissful, even. Yeah. Look at her binging the food with no care in the world. I feel the bile rise in my throat. I didn't expect anything yet. Why is it so frustrating? This can't even count as a happy ending. In a fit of sudden anger, I switched channel. Again. 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 And again. Charlie's catches my hand. Miss Wiltshire, stop it! God damn it! Why can't we do anything? I'm sick and tired of feeling powerless. Why is the world like this? And don't you sorry me. I know, I know, okay? We're both frustrated. But there's nothing really... So there's really nothing we can do. Not all problems can be solved. Not all things can be fixed. It's something we have to live with, no matter how much it frustrates us. I never asked to be born. It always should have been her. 
yet father chose me. Him and mother were already apart at that time, yet he still chose to let me live. So I lived constantly trying to make up for everything mother has lost, for every breakdown she had, for every time we called the ambulance, for every time she cried. Nothing else mattered, and now look at this world, repetitive, meaningless, futile. It's almost laughable how original my stories are. None of you deserve this. And I can't even die here? Trust me, I've tried. Charlie's. Let's leave this, room. leave this room. Are you sure we... I'm sure. We'll leave this place and return to 1F. I'll rebuild White Society and have it do something worthwhile for a change. If Isla can't be contained in one vessel, we can use thousands, right? You want to make the fires out of them? I guess, whatever. This would be a hell of a selfish act, though. In all honesty, I don't think Miss Wiltshire would be happy if we save her. That's true. Like I said, no matter what we do, there will be no right answers. The house is essentially self-destructive. Still, it's better than watching you rot away in self-pity, you loser god. So what if former Scarlet's now Charlotte doesn't want to get out of her little fantasy box? I'm bringing her here and watching the house burn as we eat a monthly supply of Charlie's junk foods in one city. Period. Wait a minute. Do you want me to put you to rest? I changed my mind for now. Don't make a big deal out of this. I... Father. I get it, so... Please. And so we leave the room. Inside the room, there is a box. Inside the room... There is a channel. Inside the channel, there is a world. Inside the world, there is a girl. A girl who is the world itself. Hello, world. How are you? Ah, and this is where the credits are. So maybe I should have done that first because it had much shorter amount of dialogue to it, but it's all good in honesty. It's a very unique way of looking at this kind of community, this game, the series, the spin-off game. The series in general is just a mix of gore, and ultimately I think that it doesn't matter how you look at this game, I think it's always very important to take your own conclusions away from it. And here we are. Dear friends, today we have gathered for a very special occasion. Today is the day we ascend. Right, Mr. C? Precisely, Miss Wilkes here. Today we shall make history. Please, put on the helmets in front of you. At last, we shall become pure white. Okay. Excuse me. Why the hell is Vincent there? Oh, but white Charlies. Innocent Charlies. Wiltshire. Miss Wiltshire. Free? It's time for us to go. Where to? Stargazing, of course. Stargazing is alive, Free. Just like everything Umbrella said, Man said. No, everything for real this time. Promise? Promise. Come now, take my hand. Let's leave this story together. Lead the way. Episode 2 ending. Stargazing. So, the white ending on. Yeah, childhood's end. Happy end, childhood's end. Stargazing and all that lot. All that shenanigans. My goodness sakes. Really? Is that how you want things to be viewed? Um, What if we just select new story? I don't know. Uh, this title screen is a bit kerfuffled, isn't it? It's bloody stargazing. Hmm. Ah, oh, I'm glad we did select this one then. Is 
this is some repeat. I should think if this doesn't lead to anything. Yeah, it's a repeat, so yeah, let's let's back out of this real quick. Now it looks like we're always gonna get this corrupted screen anyhow, but I loved the series. I loved the direction in which the developer took these games and usually when you look at these games it has a little bit of personality that the developer has in them personally and it's it kind of ties into the fact that um is there something a bit more to the story of a game than we realize because even though it's fictional we can always take away something from these games which we can better understand ourselves about and you can look past like the gory aspects of it the horror aspects of it and you can find yourself quite an entwining story but at the same time it's also very enigmatic about the tip and yeah that's a good way of i think it was a good way of taking it off from there but i thoroughly really enjoyed this series it's um it's quite unique in its own aspects it combines a lot of genres together psychological surreal thriller horror sci-fi adventure puzzling and it's very good i i personally think this is one of my favorite rpg maker games but it's the enigmatic nature of it which questions as to like well is the umbrella man and the mother the primordial creatures of this universe as we call it or space because this is multiverse theory that always goes around but not in this game i don't think but a multiverse theory where there's always multiple universes but it exists at the same time but each universe has a slightly different outcome but the amount of universes that there are infinite that's what we call it a multiverse theory where each universe exists but they don't intertwine at the same time even though almost all the events of each universe is exactly the same but thank you so much for watching folks this has been hello charlotte episode three childhood end we've reached both endings of the game the only achievement i didn't get is the bully achievement where you need to shove unray into a pond somewheres but i don't think we're going to get to that point of the game i think that's choice based but the choices within the game is itself including the deleting research the laboratory I'm not sure if they actually affect the ending in any way. Or maybe there's like a hidden ending in the game, like a bad ending where you leave everything alone. So you leave everything be and then Charlotte inevitably becomes captured for real by those like Mr. Honecker. But thank you so much for watching guys. And take care of yourselves out there. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you've not done so already. I do RPG Maker Horror games and Yumaniki fan games and other kind of games in the mix as well but nothing that diverts away from the, um, the heavy story implemented factor so if it's a visual novel then by all means recommend it to me but thank you very much for watching guys and have a wonderful day and take care of yourselves.